Once upon a time, in ancient Japan, seven unique deities from different walks of life were brought together to form the reverent group known as the Seven Lucky Gods, or Seven Gods of Fortune. Their journey began over a thousand years ago and were initially worshipped by merchants, hoping for prosperity and success in business as time passed. These deities, with roots from diverse backgrounds, including Shinoto Buddhism and Hinduism, began to resonate with other segments of Japanese society. Ebisu and Daikokuten, the gods of business and trade, were the first to be revered following them others found their place. Benzaiten as the goddess of the arts, Fukurukchu as the master of science, and so forth originally worshipped separately. Their distinct powers and virtues gradually intertwined, leading to their collective burnation. The idea of worshipping these gods as a group emerged around 1420 in Fushin. This was a strategic and symbolic act, mirroring the grand processions of feudal lords of the time. The Buddhist priest Tenkai, under the guidance of Shogun Yimitsu Tokugawa, selected these gods, seeking embodiments of virtues such as longevity, fortune, and kindness. The famous artist Hano Yasunobu was then commissioned to create the first portrayal of these deities, together marking a significant moment in Japanese religious and artistic history. The seven lucky gods, each with their domain collectively, represent a spectrum of human desires and aspirations. These deities, though not originally from Japan, have become deeply ingrained in its culture. They symbolize luck, fortune, compassion, and well-being. Each god brought their own unique gifts. Ebisu of Japanese origins was the beacon of prosperity and fortune, especially in business and commerce. The Aikakuten, armed with the mallet of good fortune, and the treasure bag symbolizes luck and fortune seeking. Bashimuntan, dressed in armor, represents dignity, authority, and honor, especially in war. Ben Zaitan, embodying the divine feminine, is the goddess of love, fertility, reasoning, and art. Fukurukchu, often compared to Georgian, is known for wisdom, longevity, and wealth. Georgian, associated with the saffron pole star, is a god of longevity, wisdom, and protection, often depicted with a stag and hotel, with his jolly and generous nature, represent thrift, philanthropy, and contentment. Together, these deities from a powerful and harmonious circle, each contributing to the overall well-being and happiness of their devotees, they were particularly revered during the new year. The seven gods were believed to sail on a treasure land and vessel called the Takarabun, bringing gifts and blessings to the people. This story of the seven lucky gods is not just a tale of individual deities, but a celebration of unity, diversity, and the collective power of virtues. These gods were interwoven into various forms of Japanese art, literature, and festivals 
symbolizing the rich tapestry of Japanese culture and religious history. Ebisi, the cheerful god of abundance, has a story deeply rooted in the heart of Japan. Born from the legendary deities, Izanami and Izanagi, Ebisu is unique among the seven lucky gods, being the only one purely from Japanese origins. Unlike his celestial siblings, Ebisu's beginning was humble and challenging. He was born without bones, a symbol of his resilience and connection to the differently able. Ebisu is the deity of fisherman love and the working man, often depicted with a broad smile. He brought comfort to all who gaze upon him. In his right hand, he holds a sturdy fishing rod, and in his left, a bountiful catch, usually a large fish like a carp or sea bass, symbolizing abundance and wealth and good fortune. This imagery has made him a beloved figure among fishermen and those relying on the sea for their livelihood. But Ebisu's influence extends beyond the shores. He is also revered by farmers and businessmen, symbolizing not only the wealth of the sea, but the prosperity of crops and success in commerce. His statues are commonly found in restaurants and kitchens, a guardian ensuring abundance and joy through food. Daikukuten, the beaming god of wealth, commerce, and prosperity, brings with him a fascinating tale of cultural fusion, originally known as Mahakala from Hindu mythology. He was adopted into Japanese culture, where he transformed into a deity, representing wealth, commerce, and bountiful harvests. This transformation showcases the unique blend of religious influences in Japan, where Hindu, Buddhist, and Shinto leaves merge seamlessly Daikakuten's iconic representation is as striking as his backstory. He is often depicted with a magic mallet known to grant wishes in standing or sitting on Rico bales, a direct reference to his role as the patron of farmers and guardian of crops. His smile and short stature, topped with a distinctive hat, make him instantly recognizable this god is sometimes also depicted in a feminine form, showcasing the fluid nature of divine representation in Japanese culture. People pray to Daikakuten for financial success, especially in business endeavors, and for good harvests, making him a popular deity among merchants, traders, and farmers. But there's more to Daikakuten than meets the eye. He is also seen as a protector, a hunter of demons. A popular legend tells of how he trapped a demon with a sacred talisman. His story that showcased Daikakuten is more than just a deity of wealth and prosperity. Bishamantan, the formidable god of warriors, stands tall in the pantheon of the seven lucky gods, his origins trace back to the Hindu god Visharawana, but in Japan he has been embraced as a powerful deity of war and battle. Isha Mountain's presence is not just about warfare, he is a symbol of protection, championing those who follow the path of righteousness and justice. Dressed in full armor, Bishamantan radiates a sense of unyielding strength and dignity. He is often depicted a wielding spear, in one hand ready to combat evil spirits, and in his other hand 
he carries a pagoda representing the divine treasure house and his role as a protector of wealth. His connection to war stems from his duty as the defender of the nation and its people, particularly those who uphold Buddhist principles prayers to Bisha Mountains are for victory, protection and prosperity, particularly for those seeking success in overcoming adversaries or evil influences. Bisha Mountains imagery is steeped in symbolism. His armor and weapons reflect his martial prowess, while the pagoda symbolizes the spiritual riches he guards he is not just a god of physical battles, but also a guardian against spiritual adversities, ensuring peace and prosperity for his devotees. Ben Zaiten, the only female deity among the seven lucky gods, brings with her a touch of grace and wisdom, originating from the Hindu goddess Sawarswati. She has evolved in the Japanese cultural landscape as a goddess of arts, music, and knowledge. Ben Zaiten's influence extends beyond mere creative realms, touching upon aspects of wealth, beauty, and eloquence, often depicted holding a biwa, a traditional Japanese lute. Ben Zaiten's image is one of serene beauty and artistic mastery. This portrayal alliance with her role as the goddess of music and the arts, inspiring musicians, artists, and writers throughout Japan. Her connection to water, symbolized by her frequent depiction, near or on flowing rivers or seas, hints at her fluid an all-encompassing nature. In Zaiten, shrines are frequently located near water, reflecting her association with the sea and its abundant life. This placement also signifies her role in bringing financial fortune, as water is seen as flowing source of wealth and prosperity. Additionally, her association with the snakes particularly white. Once further emphasis her complex nature, combining wisdom, protection, and the transformative power of the arts. People pray to her for inspiration and artistic endeavors, eloquence in speech, and general fortune and beauty, making her an important deity for artists, musicians, and scholars in the divine assembly of the seven lucky gods. Fukurukju is a figure of awe and reverence. His roots are believed to trace back to Chinese Taoism, symbolizing a blend of cultural beliefs. This deity embodied wisdom, longevity, and wealth, a trifecta of virtues, highly valued in Japanese culture. Fukurukju's unique appearance, often depicted as a tall figure with a remarkably long forehead, is instantly recognizable. He is usually seen in the company of a stork or crane, both symbols of long life and happiness in Japanese and Chinese cultures. According to some beliefs, Fukurukju was once a mortal sage who attained divine status through his deep wisdom and understanding of the world. His teachings emphasize the importance of knowledge and the value of life. Fukurukju is not merely a symbol of physical longevity, but also represents the longevity of wisdom and learning. He encourages the pursuit of knowledge and the appreciation of the natural order of the world. He is revered as a deity who brings health, happiness, and longevity, making him particularly significant for those seeking a long and prosperous life. 
Georgian, often mistaken for Fukurukchu, due to their shared attributes of longevity and wisdom, has his own unique identity in the pantheon of the seven lucky gods. He is revered as a protector of the elderly and the symbol of long life, often depicted with a deer. Another emblem of longevity in Japanese iconography. Georgian's origins also have roots in Chinese culture, specifically in Taoism. He is portrayed as an old man with a long white beard, signifying age and wisdom. In his hand, he often holds a staff and a scroll or book, symbolizing the wisdom of the world. Georgian's association with the southern pole star in astronomy links him to the concept of a fixed and changing point, akin to the enduring nature of life and wisdom. One of the key aspects of Georgian's portrayal is his cheerful disposition. He is often shown enjoying simple pleasures like wine and rice, symbolizing the joy in everyday life. This depiction serves as a reminder of the importance of finding happiness in the present moment and cherishing the journey of life. People pray to Georgian for a long, healthy life, wisdom and happiness, especially in their later years. Hote, often depicted as a cheerful, plump monk, is a beloved figure in the Seven Lucky Gods originating from Chinese folklore. His round, smiling face and large belly have become symbols of joy and contentment in Japanese culture. Hote's story is one of simplicity and happiness, embodying the virtues of contentment and generosity. Hote was a Zen priest, known for his unconventional and carefree nature. His distinctive appearance, with a large cloth sack slung over his back, is iconic. This sack is said to contain endless fortunes, which he distributes to the poor and children, symbolizing his role as a patreon of those in need. Ote's representation as a happy, robust figure challenges conventional perceptions of religious austerity, suggestions instead that true spiritual wealth comes from joy and generosity. His connection with children and the destitutes is not just symbolic, it reflects his compassionate nature and his belief in and sharing joy and wealth with others. Hote's presence in Japanese culture serves as a reminder of the importance of kindness, generosity, and finding happiness in life's simple pleasures. Prayers to Hote are often for joy, abundance, and good health, reflecting his role as a guardian of those in need and a bringer of joy. The seven lucky gods have left an indelible mark on Japanese culture, influencing a wide array of artistic literature and religious expressions. The representations in art are diverse reigning, from classic paintings and sculptures to modern depictions in manga and animation. Each deity with their unique attributes and backgrounds contributes to the rich culture of Japan in literature. The seven lucky gods appear in variety of stories, poems, and plays often portrayed as bringing luck and fortune to those they encounter. They are also a popular subject in Japanese theater, where their stories are told with a blend of reverence and humor. The worship of these deities involves various rituals and practices. One of the most notable is the Shichi Fukuji Maguri, a pilgrimage to temples and shrines 
dedicated to each of the seven lucky gods. These journeys believed to bring good, fortune, and blessing to the pilgrimage during the new year. It is common for people to place images or figurines of the seven lucky gods in their homes, hoping to attract luck and happiness. For the coming year, festivals dedicated to these gods are celebrated with joy and fervor, featuring processions, music, and dance, the takraboon or treasure ship, laden with gifts from the gods is a key symbol during these celebrations, especially during the Japanese New Year. The seven lucky gods continue to hold a significant place in the hearts of the Japanese people, symbolizing the eternal human quest for happiness, prosperity, wisdom, and longevity. The story of the seven lucky gods, blending elements from Shinoto Buddhism and Hinduism, signifies the richness of cultural and religious harmony. These deities embody a spectrum of lives, blessings from wealth and success to health, wisdom and joy, their enduring legacy, transcending time and broads, continue to inspire and bring hope to people worldwide in essence the seven lucky gods remind us of the diverse ways to seek and cherish a prosperous and fulfilling life. So thanks for being with me so far. I hope you enjoyed watching this tale. And please, if you don't bother, hit the like and subscribe. Because that will make me happy and will release my fatigue. See you soon. Until the next tale.